Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Design, part two of camp, so this is the craft portion. And by the way, I just wanted to tell everybody, I am so impressed. Um, you know, a lot of videos I watch where people just jump to the end so they can get to the other stuff, but I want to tell you how much I appreciate you guys, um, or you don't watch the second part because you only want the first part, you guys seem to be going all the way through, and I just want to say thank you for that. Um, it, it's not that I require that, but it just encourages me to know that you guys are looking at both the videos, not just the scripture, but also the craft, or not just the craft, but also the scripture. So thank you guys. I really appreciate that. So before I forget, here's my hole punch, and so I wanted to do two things. So I wanted to show you, and I was looking for my, my actual Memory Dex punch, and we do not know where it is. It was supposed to be right over there in a cart. So I'll look later. My my back is better today, but it's not 100%. So I was asking my daughter, would she look for me? So here's what we do. So I'm measuring this with another card, which you can go online and make a index card or a scrap piece into a sample. And then you can use that when you, when you punch. So, um, but you can get the exact measurements, in other words, and make a template, so to speak. So I've punched my two holes, and then I will take my scissors, or you can use scissors or exacto knife, and then all you have to do is cut this little section out. And now, now because this is round, I may end up like flattening this off if it doesn't fit right, but essentially, there you go. See, we have the memory decks. How easy is that? So you don't need the expensive punch or the dies or anything else. You can just use a good old one dollar from the Dollar Tree hole punch. That's it. So, okay. So there's that left from yesterday. Just wanted to make sure I showed you guys that. And of course, you can do it on index cards as well. So, okay. Now, I'm going to put that out of the way. We're not doing memory decks today. Um, but man, wasn't that fun? It was really fun. A couple of days of memory decks. So, um, I asked you guys if you could please get one of the vintage ladies. Well, I wanted to show you guys. So, many of you have already noticed this. You have an outline of a lady, and then you have a gray outline. So, you could outline her with white around her, like I've done down here when I cut her out. Or you can take it right to the side, just like I did here on the dress. But, um, you, it's however you want to. You can even leave the 3D effect. I didn't want to, so I took it out. But, I just want to show you. Now, if you don't have a set of sharps, this is called, these are uh, pointy, 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 you know, fairly sharp um, scissors. Then, um, it, these, these do make it easier. I'm not going to lie. It does. But, you do not have to. I cut everything else out with a regular size scissor. So, and I'm just using the sharp to get up in here and get this last little bit done. And I'm not cutting it perfectly. You can see where I'm cutting into the dress. Do not make this hard. I purposely did not want to cut her out, um, you know, perfectly. I don't want you to feel like that. Um, I've gotten some emails where people feel like they're falling behind. Don't feel like that. You're doing great. And that's the beauty of the videos. You do not have to be on time. You can come back to it. Okay, and then... Um, there is a cutout area right here. You can use your X-Acto knife or you can leave it in. So I'm not going to use my X-Acto knife because I don't have my, um, my mat for underneath and I'm pretty easy about that. And excuse my phone, my, I've got somebody calling, one of my family. So, um, I did take it off ringer today. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to put my sharps up. So I said, let's get this. We'll have our scripture. And if you wanted to use any washi, I haven't cut this out. Um, and then I'm going to show a couple of extra things I'm going to do. So, and then I have some more cutouts in here. So, all right, now, let me see. Here we go. Now, also, I had encouraged you guys to grab the spiritual gift words. Um, and the spiritual gift is just what we had in our kit. So, all right, and we did it all glued. It looks great. You guys picked a good place for that. Thank you. So, I wanted to use the word, the greatest gift forgiven. Um, so when we seek God as our Lord, we are forgiven. It is a free gift that God gives us. So, and since we talked about, you know, all this other today, I thought, wow, let's use that. So take this time, pause. If you don't have your supplies, go grab them. Make sure you have all your, your people ready and however you want to do it. But um, I'm not going to cut this 
I'm just going to kind of white bubble around it. So, let me see here. Um, let me see. I'm just going to kind of go like that and then kind of go around. All right. So, that is easy peasy lemon squeezy. Nothing hard, nothing major, something easy. So, that's what I'm doing. And see, you can just make a bubble. It makes it easier. <laughs> and if you notice, I don't move my scissors. I'm, I just turn the paper. That's all I do. Um, I think I have some washing there that I'm going to use, and I also pulled out washi. So I'm going to save this, and I will use that another day. I have my lady. I have my forgiven. Now, I told you guys, grab whatever else you want. If you wanted flowers, whatever you wanted to use out of the kit. So that is your choice. I also found these. I got them at Walmart, so I'm going to use some of these just for fun. And I'm going to pull out a couple of the washi, and I think I'm going to go with that one. Um, because I think this just still gets lost. So, yeah, I'm going with that because there's blue in her skirt. Okay, now, um, I need my tin. There it is. I had it set. I promise you I had it set out. So, and I've got everything loaded that way. So, I'm going to move these three right there so I don't lose them today. <laughs> so, and thank you for those of you who prayed for me. My back is a lot better. It's not 100%, but it's a lot better. So, I wanted to add a couple of things in, especially for our friends that are not, um, that do not have the kit. Um, I've got some flowers here. I got these at Tuesday morning on sale on whatever, you know how I do it with coupon, whatever. And, um, so I, I've pulled these and I had put them in my, my camp box. I had told you guys, grab extra goodies, well, from your supplies. And then I also got this really neat stencil. So I pulled out some ink. And I also pulled out something new. Um, many of you know this trick. This is just a beauty blender. So I um, I wanted to show you guys. You don't have to have all the daubers. You don't have to have you know the expensive stuff. You can just use what you have. And so actually, I bought this last I think Christmas, and I had so much that I was giving out and. Um, I think I bought an extra one because I always buy things for my daughter-in-law my, and my two daughters the same and I put it in their stockings. So I was giving everybody beauty blenders last year <laughs> and I somehow had an extra one. Now, um, I may save this box. I may just keep this box and let that be where it rests or I can always just keep it in this. So, um, two options and if I do keep it in here, I would cut the top off and that's what I would do. Um, or another thing is, <laughs> here's another tip. I would close that up and I would take out that cellophane and just let it pop in and out, you know? So, two options. So, all right. Now, I've never used this before. I'm so excited. I just got this. I think I can't remember where I bought it from, but I love Echo Park and I love the stencils. So, all right. So, we finished this page and I did put down my little flowers. And then we're going to, um, I'm going to go through this and I wanted to just kind of give some, um, just some fun. Remember, this is my junk journal TN and you can take it out of your notebook if you have it in a notebook or you can keep it in. And I am just going to, I want to test this first to see how dark it comes. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. And it's glittery and it's glimmery and it's, um, it is... You're going to ask me, it's Celestial Copper by Delicata. So, that's the color I'm using. Alright, so I just kind of want to kind of come in here and lightly just kind of put some crosses down. And it doesn't have to be in the whole box, you know. And I'm going to come over here and put some down. I'm just going to kind of go around and, and just put some crosses and, you know, you can make a stencil easily. I've made lots of stencils. I've made potato stamps. I've made stamps out of potatoes. And, um, yeah, I mean, there's all kinds of things that we can do. So, you can take a piece of plastic and cut out a shape. Find a shape that you like, um, draw it on there, and just use your sharp scissors and cut it out and make your own stencil. I mean, there's all kinds of things. I believe these stencils, um, I know on... Um, Scrapbooking for less, they're about $4, so it's really good. And this sweet family member is going to keep calling me, so I'm going to ask them to um, text me. So, sorry. Um, all right, so I love that. Look, isn't it just nice, just a little hint? Um, I do 
like have these for specific colors. I'm going to be honest. So like I would have one for all the browns, one for all the blues, one for all the greens, one for all the, you know, and there's variations of colors. So, you know, and if you have like dark on one side and light on the other, that's how, that's how I do it. So anyways, so if you use a stencil, you know, you need to wipe it clean as soon as you get through or it will make a mess. So here is all of that. Okay, done. Alrighty. Now, um, and if you don't have a stencil, no problem. Use all the goodies in your kit and or use something that you have already in your stash. Like you could put scrap of paper down. It would be great. So, alright. I want to make sure I get the top on that good. And that goes back in my basket. And I want my gal and I want forgiven. So I think, hmm, I'm trying to decide. So, you can do it however you would like. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, since it's a little wide, I am going to make this a two-parter. So, I will show you here. So, I can put forgiven, and then I can put the greatest gift right above it. And that way, it'll fit. So... You can also change your settings when you print your digis, and you could just make it literally smaller if you wanted. So, the sweet, the greatest gift, forgiven. And then I want to put this gal like that. And I think that's where I'm starting. Okay, is there anything else I want to layer underneath? Hmm. I think I want some washi. Let's see here. So... All right, I think I'm going to do some washi on here just for some more color, just for some more texture. So you guys, I hope you guys have gotten all your stuff and you're creating right along with me. So the trick on this is peel only partial down if you have it on the sticky back paper. If you have it on regular paper, you are set. You just need to add either your um, scrapbook um Ah, scrapbook adhesive, your tape runner, or your glue. So, and then for me, I think we're going to make it to right there. Okay, now I'm just going to trim that last little piece off, and that will be done. Okay, the greatest thing about these kits is we can use them over and over again. Uh, isn't that wonderful? We can print them. What a gift this was. It really, really was. So, uh, thank you to Robin and uh, Bible Journal Love. So, I have a little crooked, but I am not going to... Let me see. I don't know if it'll pull back up. I noticed that the sticky paper I used, it is a beast to pull back up. <laughs> it is an absolute beast. So, if you're going to buy sticky paper, be sure you get the kind that will release. That was something I had not thought about. And then I was just like, oh, man... So I think I'm going to put that Forgiven on something. So hold on. Let me get some paper. <laughs> and you can use the paper that we got in our kits. You can use whatever you like. Um, I'm trying to see what colors. I wish I had a navy. Let me see. Let me see. Nope. I don't want to keep doing pink. So bear with me one minute. This is a last minute change. Um... I do have some of that green left. Maybe I'll just use... Oh, you know what I have? I know what I have. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I make my own self giggle. I have this. It's from Walmart. This was $2.50. It's by Colorbox. It is so affordable. And it just gives you a little bit of every color. So, if you don't have a big scraps pile... Sorry it's so noisy. I'm hurrying. Um, ooh. 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 Let me see here. I like that. Done. I was going to maybe pull in navy. Let me see. I was trying to dig down here in for navy. Sorry it's so noisy. Please forgive me. Is that navy? Ooh, that's navy. Ooh, I'm going to use them both. All right. But for dealers of 50 cents, you can order this and get it at the Walmart curbside. You don't have to go into the store. Um, if you're not out and about, that may be what you need to do, you know. So, I was trying to find things that either you could order or download or, you know, that kind of a thing. So, all right. So, I love this on here. So, I'm going to first, um, I am having a hard, oh no, the washi's okay. I, I mean, the tape runner. I was having a hard time with some of these backings. The one that has the slick and this does, it does have slick on it, but 
it's okay. We're still okay. All right. So I've got my Forgiven, and I love it. Love, love, love it. And I am just going to kind of punch it out a little wonky. So I'm just going to kind of go around, use my scissors, and just take it. And I'm just going to go up. So I'm going to kind of make it like that. I know. Why? I don't know. <laughs> just for fun. Okay, so I've got that. And there's my other little piece trying to scooch away. And I'm going to put that on the blue. So I'm going to get the blue and that. Yay. And, yeah. So, oop, I've got two blues. Okay, put that one up. I will deal with that in a minute. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. So I'm trying to get the most use out of that that I can. So, and this one I'm probably just going to actually just bubble around it. So just to keep it simple. Yeah, you know, don't don't make it hard. Keep it simple, guys. Because here's the thing. It's not about actually the craft, even though there's great fun in that. And it's wonderful to make something that you give back to God. Or you give to somebody you love. Or you maybe make it for Christmas and you pass it on. Or if it's just for your journaling, of course. But um, the joy is in the... Um, the journey of understanding what God's teaching us. And I put tape runner on the back of that, and I think I'm going to pop out the greatest gift because it's hard to see. It's so small, and I want that to stick out. So I'm going to pop this baby up. And again, this is just something I got at Target ages ago. It's the 3M, I believe, Scotch brand of um, oh, foam, foam tape. So, okay, so I'm going to pop that up. And then I'm going to put Forgiven down. And I'm going to just kind of tuck it just like that. So now, for sure, I'm going to tape runner this part. And I love this paper because it's nice and textured. I don't know if you could see that. So the paper from Walmart, you just kind of get a, a mix of whatever. And I have never been disappointed. Now, there's some papers I look at it and think, I will never use that. <laughs> but you never know, you know? You never know. So, I absolutely love that. So, okay. So, here we go. And you're going, but Chris, you haven't done the scripture. I know. Don't don't leave me yet. We're still going. I promise we're going to get there. Um, so, there's that. And there she goes. So, I think that is fun. And I, the reason I want that copper because she kind of has red hair. So, anyways. <laughs> I'm not going to use this. I'm going to put that away. And I don't think I'm going to use any more of my stickers. So I think I'm good. I am going to use this before it's over. But I wanted to do a junk journal. So I wanted you guys to see me do a junk journal in this. So I am going to, um, for this, which I was thinking, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it like this. So this is just a freebie envelope I got in the mail. That's all it is. I didn't pay for anything. It came to me uh, when I got the free, you know, cards from um, ministries or, you know, uh, what am I trying to say? Ministries or, uh, you know, non-for-profits. So I am going to put this inside, okay? So it makes like a pocket. And I'm going to put this through here, through that. And in the end, I'll staple it in. So that's where my scripture is going to go. <laughs> I know. Oh, it's too much fun. Okay. So now we just have to pray it'll fit on that. <laughs> I didn't think about that <laughs> when I was planning this. Oh, But it's still fun. It's still fun. And if you need to get a, a longer, you can get a, like a legal size. This is like a letter size. Or not even a letter. I don't know what size that is. But it's like a note card size. Okay. So... There we go, and I'm going to put that like that. It does. We're making it work. It's a little, it's a little crooked, but that's okay. And now, since we have this, I think I'm just going to. No, you know what I'm going to do? <laughs> I am going to keep on with my stencil. Ah, <gasps> yeah. See. So pick up a couple of stencils. I mean, you can get them really cheap on Amazon. If you guys haven't seen, and I think, I hope I have enough ink, and I don't. Let me get some more ink. All right. So you know the beauty of stencils. You just got to make sure you never let them scooch over. And if they scooch, it's okay. It's okay. 
we can say it's abstract, right? <laughs> so, but look how much fun. So basically, I have a free add-on. Um, and many of you are wondering, well, how, what do I use? How can I, um, I don't have a lot of, you know, uh, crafting materials or I can't get out. Use what you have. And you know what I used to use? I used to have an ink pad that was my dad's that we used at the office when we would stamp files. And I used that. I don't know how many years I used that. I really did. And I loved it. Isn't that cute? Okay. Yes, I know. It's not me. It's just the pro it, the result is cute. Okay. <laughs> it was nothing I did. <laughs> it's all in the tools. But, um, but pick up one or two maybe stencils if you have one. Or maybe you have an old stencil or a huge stencil. You know, pick up something that you can add to your project. And let it be cheap or free. Okay? You know me. I'm cheap and I'm, I want the free. So. <laughs> okay. And I also, I know I'm going to add one more thing. I also was making my kombucha late last night. And I thought, I love that. <laughs> Keep calm, brew tea, and I'm not sure where I'm going to put it yet, but I just thought it is just too cute. So I think I'm going to put that there, and I think I'm going to put, let me see if I can put some of this behind that, and if it would look good, I don't know. And you know what? I kind of like it. It's just different. It just is another layer of texture. So where is my tape runner? I think that's the one I'm using. Yeah, I have one that's run out and one that's reloaded, <laughs> so I have to be sure. Okay, we are doing great on time, praise God. Okay, so I'm going to quit yakking as much, but I'm going to put that there, and then I'm going to take this across it. So, it still pops out. It's still, and it matches, and it ties, and anyways, how much fun is that? So, okay, and I'm going to make sure that I get this good and done, because I want my scripture to make sure it stays on there good. Ugh, th this is the only thing about this tape runner. There are better tape runners out there. Tombow Mono is fantastic. Um, Creative Memories has tape runner. Um, I love this version. Who is this by? Um, I've got washi on it. Um, whoever, let me see, Permatech. This is a really good one, too. So, And I just buy the cartridges. But I didn't want you guys to think you needed a big old tape runner gun. So, okay, I like that. Keep calm, brew tea. So I'm going to make another interactive flap, okay? So I have tons of them over here, guys. Because <laughs> I have to use eight bags of tea to brew my, um, to make kombucha. So, and I thought this was fun. This is just the tag off of it. So I thought, let me see, do I have one without the staple? Eh, keep the staple. What does it matter, right? And I just thought this was cute. Keep calm, rooty. And I think I'm going to put it down here. So that'll be kind of like our, um, whoopsie. Uh-oh, I boo-booed. You know what? I can fix it. Uh-oh, it's getting something off there, but that's okay. I can do that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to back it with another one. How's that? So when I lift the flap, it'll look good. So, and I normally don't take the little tag off, but they just kept coming off. And I thought, ooh, I'm going to save that. So keep calm, brew tea. How's that? So I can put goodies in here. I can put rare requests in here. I can put um, ways to serve God effectively in here. And so that I know that that's there, I'm just going to come along and um, actually... I'll just take this out and do the whole thing. Um, I'm just going to kind of, you know, darken up the edges so that I'll be able to see. And that's that. So, um, I really do love that we are doing this and we are trying to find the most affordable ways to do this, that we are keeping it hopefully simple. And I know many of you out there are fantastic artists, and you're going to kick it up, and I can't wait to see what you make. I'm behind getting pictures loaded, so I apologize, guys. Um, I will get those always by, you know, the weekend. I'll get everybody's pictures up. I'm hoping, I've been trying to focus on comments right now, and I hope you guys don't mind. 
So, yeah, and I'm going to do it here. I think I have more on my hand than I do this, but okay. So let's come on this side too and just kind of get this darkened up. So, um, yes, here's that junk journal happening. <laughs> uh, you're such a junk journaler. But anyways, you should see my hands by the time when I get through junk journaling. <laughs> I really used to use those uh, gel nails, and they were great because ink will come right off of it. Your regular nails, eh, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes not. So that is right there. So here is... Hold on, that's what's happening. Here is, I turned it off. <laughs> okay. Oh goodness, it wants me to know I need to make dinner. Okay, so here we are, I'm done. I've got my scripture, I can journal, I can write things and use the little tags from our kit and put them in or make my own. I can literally write my prayer on a journaling card and put it in the pocket, however you want to do it. This is your your journal so you do with it the way you want to oh i almost forgot i need a little bling i hope you guys have bling i i i oh, i just want to give you everything that i had in those kits but i know that god said we had to go a different route and so i'm okay with that but oh goodness um maybe in maybe spring uh, spring summer a year from now so she is kind of uh i think i'm gonna put some here so I think I'm going to do a big one over here. There's one. And then two more. Um, oh, no. It's that same family member. I hope she's okay. One and then two. Okay. So, um, there we go. So I've got three. So that's kind of the deal. Now, um, I am wanting... I've got everything laid out for next time. So let me pull that out and let me start showing you for our next camp. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope that you will send me pictures of what you've done because yours is going to be a lot prettier than mine. So I didn't use the flowers, but we'll, another day, another day. <laughs> okay, let's pray. I'll introduce tomorrow and then I'll let you go. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for today. Oh Lord, I just... The scripture that you give us in this camp, whether it be a passage or several scripture or just one, your word is sufficient. It is amazingly encouraging. It fills my heart with joy to know that my um, salvation was a free gift. Not by faith, I mean, not by works, but by faith alone. And God, I thank you for that. I thank you so much. I thank you for sending your son to take on my sin so that I might be able to have eternal life. And God, I just praise you for that. And Jesus, thank you so much for all that you do for us. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please be with each and every camper, God. Encourage them this day. I pray that they're enjoying the Bible journaling, um, that it is nothing that would be overwhelming, but that it would just be enjoyable. And Lord, please let everybody know, whatever they do, as long as they do it for you, it doesn't matter. It's all a gift to you, God, and I'm so thankful for that. Lord, we thank you for Bible Journal Love, who donated the digis. And Lord, I thank you for each and every camper. Lord, please be with each and every camper, and please help them through this journey to know what you're needing them to know. In your son's most precious name I pray, amen. Okay, friends, very quickly, because I'm in hopes we don't have to make another video. Scripture for tomorrow, 1 Thessalonians 4.11. I will open with the scripture passage, so just so you know, okay? And then any washies that you want to get out of the kit, um, pick a gift box. Pick a gift box. I'm good. Whatever gift box you want to use, and um, that's it. That's all I'm going to say. So gift box, and I love this flower grouping. So let's use this flower grouping one of the gift boxes, and any wash you want to. And most importantly, 1 Thessalonians 4.11. That is our scripture for tomorrow, and that will be it. And I don't have my cover. Hold on. I, I just, I get so um, excited, and I move things, and I'm trying to be organized, and yeah, I know, you're laughing. You're laughing. There it is. <laughs> you're laughing. Yeah.